Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sony STP-WS2. Now this is a wrist strap designed specifically for the E-mount lineup of cameras from Sony, and that's because, quite frankly, a mirrorless wonder like the NEX6 is all about its form factor. Of course, it's photographic capabilities as well. And part of keeping that package light is not needing a sling or something to throw over your shoulder in order to carry a camera like this. So that's why Sony clearly put out a wrist strap because this does blur the line between a point and shoot camera at least in form factor and that's where we traditionally tend to see wrist straps. Now this of course will work with any camera but Sony does point out if you're going to use it with the RX100 you will need to use the adapter that is included with the RX100 uh, or Mark II out of the box. Many of Sony's cameras do include those adapters and that's where you're going to need them in order to use this uh, wrist strap with them because again specifically designed for the e-mount and you can see right there they just give you a diagram of exactly how to attach it to your respective NEX model and then of course how to put it on your wrist and tighten it with that said let's get it out of the packaging I'm going to avoid the tape here just because it's a pain and uh, really what it comes down to is that if you need a strap, in my opinion, the reason this is compelling is because it is priced relatively well. When you look at what competitors are asking for a similar product, as I'm having quite a bit of trouble actually getting this plastic out, then you will quickly realize that the Sony product is actually uh, quite palatable compared to much, there I finally got it, much of its counterparts. Uh, third party wrist straps that are high quality are very expensive for those of you unaware. And if you look to get something generic uh, where you're not really completely concerned about it being, uh, let's say, leather, because that's not really a necessity, clearly, or any of the things that the really expensive straps bring to the table, uh, you still have to wonder you know, how it's going to really uh, match up to even something like the Sony at this price point. Uh, you're not going to find anything really high quality for 5 or $6.00. And the fact of the matter is the Sony is padded quite nicely. I can tell you that right now. Um, felt lining inside. Uh, a synthetic leather feel and look, of course, much like Sony's uh, jacket cases. A little bit of branding, and that's pretty much it. But when you compare it to the alternatives and what you'd be paying, I just still can't see really recommending uh, a third-party strap that's going to be a lot more expensive, especially since I think most NEX users aren't necessarily at the top of the pyramid with the 6 or the 7. I think many of you out there own the 5R because it's a great camera, the 5N where it all really began for the NEX lineup in terms of redefining its position, and those are where, you know, it's great to be able to use this wrist strap. Um, not to say that it's not good for the 6 or 7, of course, it's a match. I mean, even on the color scheme, this is a black strap, and of course the 6 and 7 are the only cameras uh, that were black at the time they launched. Um, the 5R as well, the 5N did not have a black version. So not the color scheme is so important clearly, uh, but Sony sometimes overprices their accessories. This is one instance where, yes, I do see right here it's a little bit frayed out of the packaging, but you know nothing is perfect, uh, especially when you're dealing with accessories like this made in China. But for the price point, I think overall this more than suits my needs, and I didn't really see a reason not to go with the uh, name brand, which generally I don't necessarily lean towards because it doesn't mean you're going to get any real advantage other than, you know, that you're just staying with the brand and being loyal, which in my case, this is perceivably uh, not an instance of that because, as I mentioned, third-party straps are going to set you back possibly more, and if you go on the, the less expensive end, I think you're going to get less quality because Sony does tend to source their accessories quite well. Most of them are made well. There are exceptions, of course, which I've covered, uh, but a wrist strap is a wrist strap. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, and of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later!